All right, everybody. Well, we are back in the shop. When I say we, Xander's with me. Um, as you can see, we got the old white truck back in here again. About to do a little maintenance on it. We're going to change the oil and oil filter in there. So uh, we just figured we'd take you along with us and show you how to change the oil in a vehicle. It's not that hard. Um, I mean, it's as simple as drain the old oil out. Put new, take the old oil filter off, put the new oil filter on, put new oil in, crank it up. It's not that bad. So, but we know a lot of people that don't know how to change oil. So we figured we'd just take you right along with us and change the oil in it. So first thing we're gonna do is get this stuff off the hood. Pop this hood. Whoo! There it is, in all its glory. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cap off right here, which is the filler cap. That way it can breathe whenever we go to drain the oil here in just a little bit. The second thing we're gonna do, I think that's a, we need a 15 millimeter wrench or or 15 millimeter socket with a ratchet. Um, as y'all can tell, the truck sits kind of low to the ground so, oh, getting underneath there, ain't gonna be no fun. Uh, I thought about maybe just jacking one side of it up because let me uh, let me uh, see if I can't get this stand where it'll go in underneath there <laughs> because we. Let me turn the light on. Alright, right there where that light shining is the drain plug. So, and the oil filter, of course, is right there beside it. But So, I may put my jack under here and jack the front end up. Of course, I'm in the shop and it's concrete floors. So, I can't, uh, I can't drive it up on the, the, uh, yeah, what they call ramps. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Can't drive it up on the ramps because we are, they'll just slide on this concrete floor. So, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Might just have to deal with it, you know, and work. We got this little, this little top of a 55 gallon drum that I cut off that you can see sits nice and flat that'll fit in underneath these vehicles. And it holds over a gallon, so it'll hold all the oil that goes in there. So, uh, let me see. I'm gonna get my jack and try to jack the front end up. See if I can't get, you can just get the whole front end jacked up in the air. And uh, we'll be back with you directly. Okay, so we're back in underneath here. Got a little bit better lighting and camera angle. So, there's a drain plug. So I'm just gonna pull that out. Yeah, slide that in there first. I think you're on there crooked, you're gonna round it over, buddy. I'm trying to get on there right. You should have got in here on your side like I am. That I'm bigger than you. <laughs> You'd still fit. You you still on that crooked. Rig. <laughs> you want me to get over and show you? Well, I mean, you're trying to do it left-handed and you're right-handed. Well, because I got to do left hand first. <laughs> oh, I should have used a twelve point. Yeah, get your socket back on first. All right, so like I said, it's pretty simple. It's an oil change. Take his drain plug, let it shoot out of there, just like that. Woo! It was time for an oil change for sure. I'm watching the level in our little tub because it actually does have. A little more than the recommended amount of oil in it. Should have started slowing down here directly. 
I hope so because it's going to run out on my shop floor here a little bit if it don't. Here's a, set that plug out there. Slide that forward a little bit. Oh Lord. Oh yeah, it's about to stop. Is that anything? You can grab us a rag. And we're probably going to need a flat tip screwdriver to get that oil filter out. Because I think I broke my oil filter wrench. Of course you Trying to take something else apart that I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Alright, it should be getting close to the end. Good little willing. Because my little tub's almost full. I can't find any shop racks. There's an old shirt. Well, there's an old shirt. That's fine. You gonna be a shop rack suit? Alright. We're getting close to the end now. Now, I did crank the truck earlier, just so y'all know. Uh, I did crank the truck earlier and let it warm up. That way, uh, all the oil would drain down really good whenever we needed it to. That's the best best practice you can do is let it warm up and we are just about to overrun that plan <laughs> which I mean it's to the end but we're within a quarter of an inch of the top of that plan we definitely had a more oil than water more oil than water oh yeah alrighty so that's going to finish draining it up Let's go ahead and uh, you don't have to stab that flat tip screwdriver through that filter to get it to break loose. Or do you want me to do it and you feel? I think I can handle it. No, you, look, you're going to have to get like right here and go in that way with it. That way you can turn it towards you to get it to break loose. Like in here? No. No. I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You take the camera. And slide y'all over there. Good Xander. Oh. So I can get in here. Don't get it that early, please. I'm trying to... Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and put that drain plug back in. Alright. That'll be low enough. That'll be alright. We really didn't have no extra wiggle room in our oil. Nah. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Move the door a little bit. Move it. Yeah, move it forward, but move it very, very gently. You just built it. Did I? Yep. That's good right there. I don't need you to hold that light. That way the people of the YouTube and the Facebook can see what's going on here. Actually, I want to get that ratchet in Tighten that up. Tighten that up first. Okay. Now, like I just said a little bit ago, I broke my dang. Oh yeah, she's on her tight. I broke my uh, oil filter wrench, so we're going to have to go uh, shade tree mechanic style on it. Yeah, stick a screwdriver through it. Oh, oh Lord, that's going to overrun. There shouldn't be much left in there. Most of it run down my hand. You got a little bit of room left. Yeah, but I still got to set that filter in there. Alright, so you just get it loose like that. Hey, you know what I thought about, Dad? What? Down by the barn, there's an oil pan that we found. Do what? There's an oil pan down there by the barn that we found. I think I threw it away because it had a hole in the bottom. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, 
try not to get my hands lap full of oil. Spitting oil everywhere. There we go. It's going to be all right. I already did it, so I mean. <laughs> About to be all that way anyway, but I will just pay him. Which is very safe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a mess. Yep. Oh, I think it's already over on him. It is right there. Yeah, I didn't see the little divot at first. Yeah, they mean it. That means I'm going to have a mess in my shop floor. Alright, yeah, let's just get that off there. Already a mess anyways. Good luck with the oily hands. Hand. Oh, I thought I was going to put this in. There it is. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, it was definitely time for an old change. Yep. Oh. Yep, that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Drain all that oil out of that. I'm going to put it on that. Right there, I'll just have to tell. Okay, can you set that camera down? Kind of facing me. Yeah. And uh, Grab I the need filter. that oil filter here. There's a lot. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. My God, that transmission pan is jacked up. Somebody bottomed this dude out. Oh, yeah. Seen that a while ago? Yeah. yeah. There's, there's definitely good bit of oil on the ground. Huh? There's definitely good bit of oil on the ground. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it, man. It's going to be all right. It's a shot. Yep. All right. So, with the new oil filter, since my hands are all oily, what you want to do is moisten that seal up. Just get you a little bit of that old oil and just barely rub it on there. Just enough to moisten that up. I'm going to need another rag. Exactly, <coughs> Danny. For my hand, please. Hey, look on that welding table right there. Let me set this down back here for a second. Wiped oil off my hand. Some of the oil off my hand anyway. Where I can get a get a grip. And I'm sorry for the camera angle if you can't really see what's going on. It ain't a whole lot of room and we're not what you would consider small people. So now that that's moistened up. Be careful and don't cross it like I almost just did. Cause you want trouble with what we already got. Get that started on there and spin that dude up. Now you ain't want to tighten it down super tight. Just hand tight, snug, just like that. And that's it. So now we're going to get this panel all out from underneath this truck. <laughs> I say we just wait to the end and back out and then deal with it. I think, son. That fan's going to blow that crap everywhere. Ooh. You can grab him tools and that camera. Right. Or slide me the tools. You get the flashlight and the camera. You want to turn the camera off? Yeah, you can stop it. We'll be back with you in a minute. <laughs> okay. Well, we got it out. We poured it in the bucket. But we were very <laughs> unsuccessful. <laughs> we kind of made a mess. But hey, it's a shop floor. It's not really going to hurt nothing. Um, now, I got to find a funnel. 
I don't know. I got like six of them in this shop somewhere. And I've got one at the house that's like so, an actual funnel. Uh, let me find a funnel. And all we're going to do is put that funnel in this hole, which is a fill-up hole. And uh, <clears throat> add this hole. So we'll be back with you directly. All right, well, couldn't find the funnel. Oh, man, oh. Did you want to eat? No. Okay. So, I'm going to attempt to pour it in there without making a big mess. Luckily, these trucks got a little bit of room on them right here. And I made a mess. Just a little one. It wasn't bad. And I do like the fact that they make these big five quart jugs now. Used to. You either could get them in five gallon buckets or one quarts. But now they got these that are uh, it's a complete oil change jug. So there's all gasoline engines take five quarts of engine oil. So they finally got smart enough, I guess, to uh, make a uh, I didn't spill, but... Five quart? A couple of tablespoons. Anyway, they got smart enough to make this, see? Five U.S. quarts, which is 1.25 gallons. In case you didn't know, there's four quarts in a gallon. Grab it. Where's that green rag at? <clears throat> so, that makes one complete oil change in one jug. Let me shine my light down in there. I can't really see. Yeah, I got a little bit down in here. There's a little bit on the exhaust. That's going to smoke like crazy. As if it wasn't already. But it's going to be all right. This thing uses a little bit of oil anyway. Uh, so, the next project we're tying into will be uh, changing spark plugs. We're not doing that today. I'm just saying that in the future that will be the next project that we handle and uh <laughs> as you can see down there i'm not real sure if uh if maybe a coal pack went out that's what these little deals are right here that i'm shining the light on it gets a signal from the computer to tell it when to fire and then it sends the fire from here down through to the spark plug down there and I guess, I don't know, you want to uh, maybe clean the spark plugs while we're in here? Sure, I'll grab the water brush. Um, well, I guess this is going to turn into a multi-thing video. Um, I mean, we're up here. It's dark outside. It's early. It ain't but 6 o'clock, but, you know, it gets midnight at like 5 o'clock now. So, uh, we're just goofing off. Can't really work on the farm, per se. So, uh... You know, work in the shop where we got some light. And uh, I'm going to pull these spark plug wires off. And we're going to pull in spark plugs and we'll see how dirty they are. Because it's been kind of spitting and sputtering a little bit. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid. They threw an engine code and it says service engine. But I haven't I haven't uh, plugged it up to see what the code is. <laughs> um, so... What I want to do first before we get into that is let, hey, come here. Um, we're going to let that truck down, and I want to crank it up and see what it's doing right now. That's someone to let down. Let me, uh, let me check this real quick. I'm going to set y'all up back right here. Whoa, back over here. Like so. That's that acting. That's that pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to check this engine oil. Now that we've changed it, looks pretty on that dipstick. And by God, it is three quarters of the way up the mark. So that's right where it needs to be at. As far as oil, it was 
Uh, it was about an inch over the max mark, so you know, I, it, it had it had way too much oil in it. And I've been told by a couple of people, and I'm not no expert mechanic by far, um, but I have been told by a couple of people that it can actually <clears throat> catch the knot sensor in there, which is on the bottom of the back of the oil pan, I think. I think, like I said, I'm not, I'm not no master mechanic by far. Uh, I just do enough to get by sometimes. Sometimes I do enough to just mess stuff up. You know, you know how that is. Van got all, all over the side of his truck. It is. It'll be all right. Oh yeah, oil's oh, gonna make this look bad. So, let's uh, hopefully crank this dude up. Well, it's still missing. I can hear it. And the truck's shaking a little bit. It does got really good oil pressure though. So, it's like flow, 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 flow. It's definitely still got a miss in it, without a doubt. So, before that gets too hot, where we can't work in underneath here, look, there's a spark plug socket right here. Um, it's at the house. No, look on the bookshelf in the living room bookshelf side of the fireplace there is a three pack of yellow ones I think on like the third shelf now or something like that so I didn't want that to get like super hot in here whoo and you can smell the gas so it is definitely a, a miss <laughs> now the next thing is going to be the reason why I didn't want it to get too hot is because we have to get Um, oh lord, I can't get that to come off there. Made to get power pliers. Um, that's that right there. This right here is the exhaust, and it gets super hot super fast. So, I didn't want it to, uh, <clears throat> I didn't want to get hot because the spark plugs, as you can see are in between each exhaust port. So, I didn't want it to get super hot. I didn't want to run it that long. I just wanted to see if it was still uh, missing, and it is still missing. So, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna find me some pliers and get these uh, spark plug wires pulled off here. We'll be back with you here directly. <coughs> All right, so this is the second one we pulled out, and I'm going to try to hold it against this white body right here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that dude is smutty like bad. I don't know if that was because they said that was an issue with it having too much oil. It puts too much pressure on the rings on the piston and it'll push oil past the piston and cause it to burn oil. Like I said before. I'm not no master mechanic. I had to ask some people that have mechanical background. And looking at this, they could be right. That is burnt motor oil on them plugs. So all we're doing, I don't know if you hold that. I don't I can't find my gap gauge, go figure. It's in this mess of a shop somewhere. So all we're doing is just taking a wire brush right now and just simply cleaning cleaning it up. Now I had to get my phone out and I asked old Googly a question because when I got to cleaning that other spark plug up, I'm going to show you all this here in just a second when I get this cleaned up. Um, I started cleaning that other one up and if you look at this right here, 
if this will focus on it. You see how that right there goes to a point? I ain't never had a spark plug that looked like that. Most of them's flat on the top. And I, I, I had to look it up. I had to look this particular AC Delco spark plug up and see what it looked like. And that's, that's the way they're made. So anyway, that's all we're doing is pulling them out. This is number two out of eight. And we're just sticking them back in and uh, hooking the wire back up. And once we do all eight of them, then we're gonna crank it up and see what it does. I got a bad feeling says the coal pack is probably out on there somewhere. If I can get this spark plug started in there without cross it. There it goes. And, uh, but nonetheless, we'll probably do a video next tips when I get home on, uh, maybe changing the wires and the spark plugs in it, uh, just to check that first, because if I'm not mistaken, them call packs are about $100 a piece, um, so if, if this don't fix it, if new wires and new spark plugs don't fix it, then probably what I'm going to do is limp it into town because I don't have a code reader here. Uh, I'll probably limp it into town one day and get a get somebody to plug it up to a computer and tell me which which spark plug is not firing. That way I don't just change out random coal packs for no reason I'll be able to Oops. well there it goes always double check make sure the rubber stayed in your spark plug socket because they have been known to come out of there alright she's plugged up good That one's going to be murderous. So, <coughs> we are going to continue on with this project. We're going to wrap this video up right here. Um, well, no, I'm not. I'm not going to wrap it up yet. We're going to go ahead and pull the other six spark plugs and crank it up. And then we'll let you know how it went. And then we'll close the video. So, we'll, uh, we'll be back with you here in about 30 minutes when we get done with this. Okay, well... We got the spark plugs pulled and cleaned and put back in and um, it's idling a lot better like right now. I mean it's running right now, but when you put your foot on the when you put your foot on the gas it still spits and sputters a little bit. So uh, it's it's still not quite right. We're gonna try to run it down the road for a little bit and see how it does. But we're gonna wrap this video up. I know y'all don't care for mechanic and videos a whole lot, but that's just something we do around here. That's something we had to do for this truck and see what we could get done. But uh, anyway, we hope y'all enjoy it nonetheless. Uh, we, uh, we appreciate everybody's support, and we will see y'all on the next one.